guys good morning today is tuesday <laughs> i forgot what day it was then it's too early um it's quarter past seven no it's not it's quarter past eight i woke up at half past seven and today i am going to the gym by myself so i've been to the gym a couple of times i went in lincoln back when i lived there um and i always went with my pals and did like a class or went on the bikes or row machine or whatever um, and since I've been home, I've not been. So I tested out the gym a couple of times with my boyfriend and I joined up last night and I am going for an induction this morning. So I am shitting myself because one, I've never been to the gym by myself. And I think the one time I did in Lincoln, I lasted about 10 minutes, got too anxious and came home. Um, and two, the thought of meeting a stranger and working out with them also scares me so it's a, it's a day of day of new things today um i almost booked today's like induction for 5 p.m but then i realized i'm going to be stressing about it all day so i figured if i wake up and get it over and done with it should be okay so i will document my gym journey for you guys um i've booked a pilates class actually for tomorrow morning so we'll see if i go to that <laughs> i do quite like pilates actually i do that by myself at home on YouTube so hopefully that's not too kind of out of my comfort zone but yeah it was it was a semi-spontaneous decision last night to actually bite the bullet and sign up very scared but conquering my fears so by the way I'm wearing my love leggings sports leggings they're very very comfortable they do slide down a little bit maybe I should have got a size smaller but they're really comfy, Mickey Mouse bra, and then just this top over the top. And that's me done. Oh, I need to get my trainers as well. Let me show you my trainers. I actually really like them. So these are my trainers. I got them from TK Maxx like when I first signed up to the gym in Lincoln. So I've probably had them like a year and a half now. And yeah, they're New Balance ones. Pink, and I really like them. I'm assuming that's the make of them but yeah right let's go we love a wonky vlog update <laughs> so i went to the gym i did it um and the induction was pointless literally pointless um the guy probably didn't want to be there and he just showed me how to move the pins in the weight machines and like you pull the seat on everyone like it was stuff that I already knew I was presuming he was gonna like show me the correct form but then I suppose that's my own mistake because that's probably leaning on a personal training session rather than an induction so I suppose if I didn't already know that stuff it would have been helpful but the slot was literally nine till ten and it lasted nine minutes so I'd finished my induction at like nine minutes past nine car's just pulled up next to me um let's pretend i'm on facetime but yeah it was good i just i didn't feel uncomfortable actually it was quite nice and it wasn't too busy um i've got a pilates class book for tomorrow which i think i'm going to enjoy i think i need someone shouting at me telling me what to do so i think when i'm going by myself i'll do a class and then when i go in with my boyfriend he can train me like muscle wise and stuff great choice of song don't know if you can hear that but it's, it's a good choice of stock <laughs> but yeah feeling good i'm glad i did it um and i've got my work out for today so that's good i've hit my exercise rings already and it's five minutes past ten and i've been 300 calories and i'm now probably going to put it back on by eating this i'm going to eat this they do really nice uh bakewell tart ones or cherry bakewell or something the naked bars and it's so good if you like battenberg cake you will very much enjoy it i do need to buy a new vlog camera when i get home so that's like 450 pound i'd rather not be spending but it's got to be done hasn't it it's a business investment my camera's on its way out and i've got a discount code for canon's website so i'm gonna buy a new one now before my other one breaks so i'm not left in the lurch Hello. 
look at this salad that my dad's just made me. So good, so excited, watching a YouTube video. I came to Tesco spontaneously to get some discounted Easter eggs and they don't have any, so I'm very upset. Um, so now I'm just getting random bits of stuff that I probably don't need, mainly because I'm annoyed that they don't have Easter eggs. Although, I can't find the batteries. That hair though, oh for God's sake. Just ignore my antenna um, and I feel like I've got no hair left. She thinned it to help with like the poof, but it literally feels so thin. I don't like it. <laughs> but they didn't have any Easter eggs in Tesco. Very upset. So out of protest, I bought a random array of crap that I didn't need. <laughs> got, well, I needed this thing. Rimmel Stay Matte. Probably could find that cheaper somewhere else, but my other one is running out. I bought this because it was on offer and I felt really upset that they didn't have any easter eggs they had easter eggs but they didn't have dairy milk easter eggs cadbury easter eggs so what's the point <laughs> got these because they're on offer and they're relatively healthy um you get four in a packet and they look relatively nice these i've had these before really really yummy health with alice i like how the health things i've got have chocolate in them of course got some frubes because they were a pound and i'm gonna freeze them and have them as like frozen yogurt i got two packets of mini eggs very small packets of mini eggs they were 50p each because they were on offer and i also got two malteser bunnies because they were 25p each still very upset that they uh, didn't have any dairy milk easter eggs but i also probably a good thing isn't it and i also very much need a wee so i'm gonna go i've got alexa playing and i'm gonna put all these clothes away that need tidying up she's listening to me Sorry for those of you who also have one. And I'm feeling much better now. Um, I was going to film a video tidying and decluttering, but I'm not in the mood to do it, so I just put the stuff away and I'll declutter it another day. Um, but I actually had a really interesting phone call earlier about something that's kind of been in the works for a while, probably like three months. So I was contacted like three months ago and someone from, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say this yet, so if not, I will bleep it, but someone from the BBC um, contacted me and wanted to do a story. But yeah, it's it's all happening really fast all of a sudden. Like it seemed to take a while to get into, get, get into gear because obviously there's a lot of people for it to go through, but yeah, I'm getting interviewed by um, BBC and I'm going to be on BBC. I think they said 17th of May it's going to be broadcast and they're also going to broadcast it on BBC One, Radio Extra and something else. I can't really remember. But yeah, I will keep you guys updated. I'm allowed to vlog the day and upload that. So I will upload the behind the scenes and of course I will let you know when it goes live. So yeah that's happening um i did have a, a feeling i wanted to be on tv at some point this year um one of my little bucket list goals but i didn't think it would be in this sense but i'm so excited and i'm terrified at the same time <laughs> good morning it is 9 a.m i'm about to head to pilates i've just remembered though i've not taken my hay fever medicine so let's hope i don't get sneezy my eyes have gone red already <gasps> this is a mistake I don't remember the last thing I vlogged. Oh my God, look how shiny I am. But I've spent my entire day doing my emails for my email marketing on my website. I've actually got most of it done. I think I have one more to do and I'm sorted and it's taken me so long, but once it's done, it's done. So yeah, that's good. And I've been releasing images and stuff. Um, I've literally been sat at my laptop for the most of the day. I had tomato and chorizo soup for my lunch and I'm about to FaceTime my boyfriend because I've not had enough social interaction today and yeah I thought it'd be a cute little update. Hi! Hello! <sighs> There's no milk. 
Stay. 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 <laughs> Got me milk. I'm just eating a flapjack it's this one they are very good can confirm i've bought this now like three times over so i've had quite a few of them um i have actually been working on my website all day as you've seen um this week's vlog is going to be very very <laughs> me talking to the camera based because i don't have any major plans although on saturday i'm going to take my dad for his christmas present finally um and we're going to watch the harlem globe trotters in sheffield basically a basketball team from america who do like cool tricks and stuff so that should be a little interesting clip but yeah other than that i've just <laughs> been doing my website basically it's a very office based week um and it needs to be because next week i've got quite a busy one um and my website's getting released next week but i mentioned earlier on in this vlog that someone is coming to interview me on wednesday and i'm allowed to tell you who so the bbc are coming to interview me in my house on Wednesday oh my king god I'm scared um I'm excited and also very terrified uh, and I think they just want to interview me in my room and my office and stuff so I'm gonna have to like make sure I've not got any weird stuff out not that I do but I've got like bits of lego and stuff on my on my drawers so I'm gonna move that um and like I've got a donation box that I need to move so I need to like make sure it's like tidy but not too tidy lived in that's what we're gonna call it but yeah they're coming at about midday on wednesday and i'm not allowed to tell you what we're filming it about but they're filming with me so yeah that's what's happening on wednesday so i'll be able to vlog that um obviously i can't tell you what they're filming it about because they want me to keep that secret but i'm allowed to tell you guys about it now um i think it's airing like mid-may um so I will update you as and when I know things. But yeah, it's been a long time in the works and I can't believe I'm getting interviewed by the BBC. What is life? <laughs> right, I'm going to put some YouTube videos on. Oh, look, it's Budapest on my TV. Oh, I wish I could be there right now. That was such a good trip. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get back to work and I'm going to put something on my telly to watch. I've come upstairs because I spent the morning downstairs working and now dad wants to watch basketball so i've decided i'm gonna watch something i want to watch upstairs good morning today is friday and i am as busy as ever um although saying that i did have a lie in this morning i like lie in and then work till late and i prefer it like that so yeah i'm actually going to another exercise class today i'm going to legs bums and tums at 6 p.m so let's see if i actually get off my butt and go um i'm gonna try my best but um i got a delivery this morning i ordered a new canon g7x which is the camera i'm filming on um it's the mark ii version i can't remember how long i've had this one but i feel like it's coming up to three years and that's actually a really long time for these cameras because so many people say that they break before then um and actually let me show you the screen like bends backwards and forwards like you can see it flicking the other way but yeah the screen changes and it flips down and it's usually the screen that breaks um and mine did actually break but my dad super glued it and super glued the screws back into the holes basically so yeah other than that my camera's been fine the whole time it's just very very well loved and battered um i don't know how i'm going to show you this but it's all frayed down here and then there's glue up here and all this is like scratched and stuff so yeah it's time for a new one to be honest i think i'm gonna keep using this one till it literally dies because why not i might as well get my uh, money worth even though i've definitely got my money's worth already so yeah today got a delivery from canon and um, they gave us a discount code at that canon event so i thought i might as well do it now whilst i'm getting a bit of a discount and i saved like 100 pounds so defo worth it so yeah this is the camera i use and it's literally just exactly the same but cleaner and not scuffed and ruined like this one 
it's all shiny and new and I'm very very happy about it so I'm just gonna like register the warranty unless it's already done and then probably keep it in its box I might use it for when I'm needing two cameras or whatever when I'm filming tutorials but for now I'll just leave it in here um, and then I got some ink for my printer because I bought cheap ink and it ran out <laughs> um, so I had to buy actual proper ink <gasps> I've just realized this is only one cartridge I am an idiot is there another one in here or am I just stupid I'm stupid well I tried <laughs> I tried to be thinking ahead oh well um, also very much appreciating the fact that Canon have used all recyclable packaging so that is good 10 out of 10 but for now I'm gonna go downstairs continue working on my website I've got a to-do list I was up till like 1am yesterday trying to get my logo designed <coughs> I got wheat a bit stuck in my throat <coughs> I was up designing my logo till 1am and I still don't know if I like it so that is the first thing on today's to-do list oh my god oh death by a wheat a bit I actually am well impressed with the graphics on this game. <laughs> this is the only reason I wanted to show you it, just to show you how cool the hall looked. I went in Dumbledore's office um, earlier as well, and it looks like spot on. It's sick, this game. I love it. I am such a nerd. I don't think I've ever been this red. Can you tell? I've kind of gone back to my normal colour nearly. I'm sat in my car, just like composing myself before I drive and I've got my windows open because I can't breathe. That was so intense, I'm literally shaking. I think it was because it was so long, like 20 minutes in, I was like, am I done? <laughs> I feel like I've just done another martial arts grading and I've not done one of those for over a year and a half, so. Uh. <laughs> me and like there was a couple of girls like either side of me and we'd not spoke the whole way through and then at the end she was like right we're gonna do a cool down it wasn't a cool down it was more working out um and we all looked at each other and we were like can't we just cool down and walk out the door as we're doing it because we like did a lap of the studio so i was like should we just walk out of the door on the way past oh but yeah it was good i'll i'll do it again but i need to at least i know what to expect but i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing oh. I'm so tired. I've got these little protein bite things from Trek. I had a few before I went in, but I think I needed the whole packet, to be honest, for some energy. This is really stupid, but does protein give you energy? I feel like protein builds muscle. I did have a lot of carbs before I went there, so. Okay, holding my phone up is killing me, so. We'll see when I'm home. I still look like an egg. I've not bothered to take my hair down, but um, I just wanted to show you how cool these kinder egg easter eggs are and um they still had these actually in asda when i went in the other day they weren't on offer though and that doesn't make sense to me because it's after easter all easter chocolate should be at least half price after easter but yeah my boyfriend bought me this and he also bought me an oreo easter egg which i promptly destroyed <laughs> i ate that like the first night um and i've been saving this one and i've got one more dairy milk egg left and then that's me done for another year really sad about it actually i want to show you how cool these eggs are so my childhood was filled with kinder eggs they were just really cool because you got sweets and toys and it was like the best thing ever um so i'm filming myself opening this partly so my boyfriend can see what toy i get and also because i'm a big child but i have actually had one of these already um my boyfriend gave me it early um, because I was feeling really sad and upset and stuff at his house for no apparent reason, just having a low day. So he gave me my egg early and thought he needed to buy me another one for actual Easter time. So I got two. So yeah, this is the egg. <laughs> I feel like one of those kids channels that open toys and like review them. Those channels get so many views on them, don't they? I am doing something wrong. <laughs> so in here we have one egg why am i doing this you can tell that this week's vlog is very dry of content 
<laughs> oh. oh, I dropped some next to me anyway. Then the chocolate is white and normal. Then, look at this. Literally a super-sized version of the little cases. And I actually bought me and my boyfriend a, a, a like regular size Kinder Egg the other day and it didn't come with one of these in and I was very upset. Right, let's see what toy I've got. The last one had a Minion on a motorbike, so I hope it's not the same. I can't get in it. Is it childproof? Oh no, my, oh, my battery's dying. Yes, it's a different one. What is it? Oh, there's my Minion. Oh, he's on a surfboard. Bet you're really enjoying this vlog, aren't you? And he sits in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's a surfer dude, and we all go surfing, surfing USA. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I was cold last night and couldn't muster the courage to attempt the stairs after my gym class, so I got my dad's jacket out of the cupboard. <laughs> so I've put it back on, and I'm gonna see how he feels about me stealing his jacket, and I'm gonna attempt the stairs. I don't know how I feel about this. <gasps> Holy. Oh my god, it's only the morning after. This is going to get worse in like a day. My camera. What are you doing my photo? It's mine now. No, it's friggin' not. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Um, I'm wearing this top from George and then... George, lol. George Asda. Um, I've got lipstick from Tarte on. It's my favourite lipstick. It's called Front Row, I believe. I'm not sure if they still have it, actually. Um, and yeah, just simple makeup. I've tied my hair up like either side. Black skirt ready to go um i have a little hashtag spawn to do um tonight whilst we're there so i've put lipstick on and got properly ready otherwise i don't think i would have got this dressed up for a basketball event i can't remember what i've told the vlog and what i've told instagram and everything else but yeah we're gonna go and watch the harlem globetrotters in sheffield so dad's all ready he's gonna be my instagram <laughs> instagram photographer for the day um and you'll see the photos very soon actually i don't know how soon it'll be like mid-may i think you ready I will be you excited for food we've come out for food i'm very hungry are you hungry i'm so hungry i've not eaten since breakfast and it's five <laughs> five pm i just keep staring at the the chefs so i'm filming random people but yeah i keep staring at the chef no. i keep staring at the chefs because I'm that hungry. I look insane but I've just put this on um, and it's a face mask it's like a charcoal and tomato face mask and it has like a little roll up thing like you roll it here and then the mask comes out and you just like paint it on your face and this is by far the easiest application of a face mask I've ever had so um, I will report back afterwards about what my skin feels like but I'm about to go in the bath to soothe my poor aching muscles <laughs> very much needed and I'm going to try and find something to watch on my laptop and I'm going to do a nose strip afterwards. Oh my god! 
please choose a house from Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw or Slytherin. Here are your three questions for today. Question one. Which character best fits this description? He was almost twice as tall as a normal man and at least five times as wide. He looked simply too big to be allowed. Hagrid. Ten points for Ravenclaw. Hagrid, said Dumbledore, sounding relieved. As usual, I forgot to end the vlog on a Sunday evening. Are we even surprised at this point? Because I know I'm not. But yeah, I spent my evening <laughs> talking to Alexa because I have no life. I bet she just listened to that. Yep, she did. Um, but yeah, what games do you play on yours if you've got one? Because I know someone that plays trivia, but I can't work out which one they play. So let me know. Um, but yeah, if you got to the end of the video, comment down below, Alexa is cool, because I do think she's cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry, it's not been the most exciting of weeks, but this is just my life. This is just how it is. And thank you so much for joining me and sticking it out till the end. I'll see you next week for another vlog. Next week's vlog is very exciting because the BBC are coming to interview me. What? That's mad. <laughs>